Have you ever wondered how MLB players hit fast pitching? Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you through an at bat where I faced a pitcher who's throwing 100 miles per hour. And I'm also going to share with you drills so you can start crushing fast pitching. And if you watch it to the end, you'll learn the drills to hit fast pitching. You'll learn the hitting approach. And I'll also show you what happened when I faced this pitcher who threw 100 miles per hour in a tie ball game in the ninth. Hi, I'm former MLB player Jermaine Curtis. And now let's get started. But first, I've created a free cheat sheet for you to help you if you're struggling to be a consistent hitter or you're lacking in power. If this sounds like you, the link will be in the description below. And this cheat sheet also comes with video training so you can see what you need to do to improve. And when you sign up for free today, you'll get access to more free goodies that will help you to improve your performance, but also get early VIP access to have your questions answered by MLB players. If this is something you're interested in, link will be in the description below. And with that said, back to the video. Now, just like anything, you have to practice before you go into the game. So we wanna prepare so that we're ready for the game. In this situation, we're gonna prepare for fast pitching. So the first drill that I would recommend you to do is the box drill. The box drill is a drill I learned from Barry Bonds. It's a drill that helped me when I was playing professionally. And basically what you're gonna do is, let's say that you're the BP thrower or you're standing there feeding the machine and I'm hitting right now. So basically what we're gonna do is, every time I take a swing and I hit a ball, I'm going to get closer to you. And I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go as far as I possibly can towards you. And then from there, I'm gonna start going back, okay? I'm gonna go all the way back. What you'll notice is that when you get all the way back, it's going to be slow. And that's what you want. You wanna feel that the game is slowed down. And if you do this, maybe two, three times a week, it's gonna help you to hit fast pitching. Now, the next drill is called the hitting approach drill. And the whole point of this is that you wanna trust your hitting approach. This drill is a very simple drill. So you're gonna get ready to hit and you're gonna need a partner in this situation. The partner is gonna be where you're at right now. Let's say that um, your partner is behind that L screen or they're giving you front toss. I would recommend you do it off front toss. And the drill is gonna go like this. Let's say that you're getting ready to hit as I am right now. You're going to close your eyes and then the person that is flipping the ball is going to, right when they're about to flip, they tell you to open your eye. And what you're gonna do is, depending on your hitting approach, you're gonna swing at the pitch if it's there. If it's not there, you're gonna take it. So it teaches you to dial in on your hitting approach. And this is something I do with all my players that I work with, and it was when I was playing, I would do this same drill. Because you have to trust in your hitting approach, and you have to trust your ability. So it's a great drill to work on your hitting approach, and you're gonna need that when you face fast pitching. Now, the last drill is called the speed drill. And basically, it's a simple drill as well. You're gonna put a donut on your bat, and someone's going to flip you the ball fast. They're gonna flip you three balls in a row. So you're going to go here, bam, get back, bam, get back, bam, get back, okay? As fast as you can, three balls, bam, bam, bam. And you're gonna be quick with it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna increase our bat speed. We're going to get ourselves to start throwing the head of the barrel. This is going to help you when you face fast pitching. So those are the three drills I recommend. It's helped me throughout my career to hit fast pitching. It's going to help you too. Now, let's get into the whole video and how you hit fast pitching from A to Z, step by step. And that starts when you're in the hole. So let's get it. So there's a few things I wanna talk about. When it comes to hitting fast pitching, it starts in the dugout, when you're in the hole, when you're looking at the game. A lot of people check out when it comes to being in the dugout. They just check out, they're not focused. The game will tell you a lot about what's going on. So when you're in the hole, there's two things that I would advise you to do. The first one is your positive self-talk. This is when you get yourself mentally ready. You start telling yourself, I'm about to crush this guy. I'm about to hammer him. So you just start telling yourself all these positive things to yourself to, to build yourself up for the at bat. Now, the second thing you want to do is start thinking about your hitting approach. When guys throw fast, I look for the pitch down, and that's what I would recommend to you because when pitchers throw fast, the ball is spinning more. So the balls that are up in the zone are harder to hit. So you want to look down in the zone because that's easier to get the barrel to. So in this at bat, when 
when I face that guy who throws 100 miles per hour, I was looking for the ball that was down. And since the situation was, it was a tie ball game in the ninth, he's not gonna come inside. He's gonna stay away from me because he doesn't want me to get the bat head out front and hit a home run. So you have to be watching the game because the game's gonna give you a lot of information. If you take advantage of this situation, which is you're in the hole and you start getting focused, you're going to be well on your way to crushing fast pitching. Now, when it comes to on deck, there are three things you need to focus on. The first one is you need to continue your self-talk, but now you really need to build yourself up. You really need to believe it. You really need to make yourself feel that you are nine feet tall, that you are a giant. Most people never do this. Most people don't say anything to themselves, and that's when they start doubting themselves before going up to the plate. So right now, when you're on deck, you need to start saying, I am the man. I'm about to crush this fast pitcher. I'm about to hammer this pitch. You need to be telling yourself so much positive self-talk so that you get yourself in a state where you are going to win this at bat. That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is believe in your hitting approach approach your plan whatever you decide to do while you're in the hole you need to start believing it right here there's no reason why you'll make the hitting plan and then you come up here and you start doubting yourself so whatever you decided you need to believe in it if you're looking for a pitch up you go all in on that if you're looking for a pitch down you go all in on that whatever your approach is you need to believe that you are going to hit it now one way i do that is by visualizing and this is what a lot of players do when they get on deck it's good to just visualize you're going to hammer that pitch take yourself through the bat before the bat actually happens that is something that is a cheat code that never gets talked about and it's something that really helped me and it's helping players at the highest level. So when you're about to face that fast pitcher, start visualizing, start putting yourself in the bat. Visualize him throwing it where you want and you not let him back. You just get in that pitch and you're just ready to just hammer. Now the third thing you need to do, you need to get your timing, which is obviously the most important. And when it comes to timing, I use the UCLA method and I'll put a link above my head right here that'll pop up after this video. Go and watch that video. It'll go more in depth on how do you get timing from a pitcher. It goes really in depth. I can't talk about it here because it'll be a very, very long video. So after this video, go and watch that video. Now, most people never do all three of these things. And that's the reason why they never feel that they're ready for the bat. That's the reason why they go up to the plate and first pitch, they're hesitant or they're taking because they didn't do the work here. And you have to do the work here if you're going to hit that fast pitching. This is where you get locked in. This is where you get ready for the bat. So if you do all three of those things, you're going to be ready for the bat. Now let's go into the next stage. Now you notice that I'm halfway between the plate and the on deck circle. Now, this is the walk. You're walking to the plate. What you wanna do is, again, you want to continue to give yourself positive self-talk. You wanna build yourself up even more. This is where now it becomes real. This is where you're about to get busy. You're about to start. You're about to go to work. So right now, you wanna build yourself up, continue with your positive self-talk. Your body language should be positive. You don't wanna walk to the plate all like this. You wanna be with your head high, confident. You wanna look like you are going to do damage. You're gonna look like you're going to dominate this pitcher. There's scouts in the stands. There's college coaches. Everyone's watching you. And if you look like you're not gonna get a hit, they're gonna be like, oh, this guy doesn't believe in himself. If you don't believe in yourself, the coach is not gonna believe in you. So right now when you're walking to the plate, this is when it gets real. This is when you start acting like, okay, I'm about to dominate. Your body language shows the world that you are somebody and you are going to win this battle. The second thing you wanna do is continue to believe in your approach. Whatever plan that you created, whatever hitting approach that you created, you say it's going to work. You tell yourself that, hey, this is going to work. I'm about to execute this plan. And that's the third one believe that you are going to execute your plan. There's no self-doubt right now. This is the moment of truth. You're gonna make this happen and you are going to execute the plan that you laid out for yourself. Those are the three things you wanna do when it comes to walking to the plate. And if you do these things, you're gonna be ready for the batter's box, which is what we're going to talk about next. Now, when you get up to the plate, before you step in, take a deep breath. 
slow your heart rate down tell yourself once again what you're trying to do what's your hitting approach what you're focusing on and trust that you're going to get it done trust that you're going to execute your plan trust in your ability this is where you're about to go to war but at this point you have to be convinced that you're going to win so take that breath so it allows you to focus and now you want to do your at home routine for me I go to the same place every single time and I practice that way so that when I go into the game, I'm at that same place every single time, right? Baseball is a game of routine. You're going to play the way you practice. So by doing the same routine, it keeps you locked in in the game because there's nothing that seems like it's outside of what you normally do. I step into the same place. I always tap the other side of the plate. I like to feel that I have plate coverage, but most kids, you might have to have a routine where you go here, you put it down, and then now you're in that same spot every single time. So that's the next thing, doing your routine that you normally do in practice and in game. Baseball is a game of routine. So you wanna always be doing the same things over and over and over. Practice your craft, perfect your craft. Now, when you're in the batter's box, what you wanna do is you want to eliminate any unnecessary movements. Guys throwing faster, so you don't need to try to hit the ball over the tent. You can start eliminating those movements, just get barrel to ball, and the ball's gonna go because he's supplying the power. So you don't have to do anything crazy. And when usually I face pitchers that throw hard, I like to widen my stand because I want to eliminate any drifting forward or anything that's going to take me away from getting barrel to the ball. That's the first thing I would do and recommend to you is when you face faster pitching, think about eliminating any movements that you may not need. You don't need to supply the power, so you don't need to try to generate speed. You don't have to widen up. This is just something I did to help me to hit faster pitch. Now, the next thing I would recommend is you line your knuckles up. Now, I know everyone talks about this, but there's a good reason why you wanna do this. When the bat is in your palm, you're gonna be slower to the ball. So by having it in your fingertips, you're allowing yourself to be quick and just faster to the baseball. It's gonna allow you to throw that bat head there. And I really felt that, and I really told myself to feel that when I face fast pitching. Because the last thing you wanna do is feel slow in the batter spot you want to feel quick to the ball so when i had it in my fingertips this allowed me to be quick to the ball get the barrel there that's something i highly recommend when you're facing fast pitching just put it in your fingertips and line those knuckles up and you're going to be really in a driver's seat to hitting that fast pitching now the next thing i want to say is that forget any result forget that the players are on the field it's just you versus the pitcher. You can only control what you can control. And what you can control is getting barrel to that ball. Don't think about anything else. No distraction, focus. That's the key to success. Taking everything that's out here, the fan, the defense, your girlfriend, whoever is out there, they don't matter. Right now, what matters is you versus the pitcher and them throwing it where you want and you already know you're going to hit it because you've been getting yourself ready for the bat for the last 10 minutes you're focused you're ready do not think about anything else you can't control results but you can control the process and the process right now is getting that pitch pitch you want and whatever happens happens i can't control that but i am going to hit this ball hard if it's where i want it to be and it's as simple as that now before i show you this a bat let's do a quick recap the first thing we want to do is believe that we can do it we want to have a hitting approach the hitting approach is look for the fastball down we're going to widen our base so that we can eliminate any movements that may cause problems for me to get into that fastball and that's it and with that said the score is three three it's two outs top nine we're playing away and this is a situation you always want to be in as a hitter a chance to put your team up so let's see what happens back 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 and unable to catch the ball shareholds and it was very catchable it hit the front part of the track and he failed to catch it and the louisville bats the Louisville Bats have taken the lead. I guess what you talked about, Curtis, went yep. right after the first offering from Ron Doan and put it over the head of Shearholt. Now the wind is blowing that way, but yeah, yeah, that's I don't know how he missed that actually. It looked like he was gonna catch it and it missed the glove. So it winds up a double and a four to three Louisville lead. 
Now let's talk about this real quick and then we'll finish this video. Now the first thing is before this a bat even developed three minutes, five minutes before I was telling myself, I'm going to be the one to put my team ahead. I kept telling myself, I am going to crush this guy. This is where I want to be. I don't want to back down. I want this situation. I kept telling myself positive self-talk. The second thing is I had a hitting approach before going into the batter's box. I was looking for the pitch down. I was looking for the pitch away. The next thing is I widen out. You can see that little thing that I do where I'm standing straight up right now. And then I sit into my lower half. The next thing is I eliminated any unnecessary movements this guy throws hard i just need to get barreled to the ball and lastly i didn't think about any of the results i went after it i didn't think about anything besides what i wanted and what i was going to do to that pitch and we ended up winning this game now if you do all that you're going to hit and if you enjoyed this you enjoyed this video right here which is going to teach you how to hit more line drives in baseball and in this video we use adam frazier who led the mlb in line drives as an example so if you're interested in that, click that video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.